Hello guys and welcome to another Fusion 360 CNC programming tutorial video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I do CNC programming tutorial videos, especially for home Mac and Wiki CNC machines using Fusion 360. Okay, um, in this video I'm going to show you um, um, how to fix this problem when uh, machining an ellipse. You know, when you machine an ellipse, um, the machine is not going to run that smooth, right? It's going to be jerky throughout the entire program. So um, about a month ago, I ran this job. It was um, it was uh, three subtops. Um, so I got a drawing, and I noticed on the drawing, like all the cutouts on the subtops were ellipses. Um, I got the CAD file, it was an AutoCAD file. So I imported a file into Fusion 360 and I started programming that file. And when I, was, when I did the simulation, I noticed, I noticed uh, that it, it has so many lines of G-code. Um, what, what do I mean by that? Let me show you. Um, this is, um, this is the program right here. See, um, it says all ellipse. Um, so I use a 2D control, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna simulate. And I'm gonna turn off my stock. And I'm gonna turn on uh, the toolpath. I'm gonna zoom in. And you see all, this, those little, um, all these little black points, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this point right here. So from that point, to that point, it's a line of G-code. Let me turn off the tool. So from this point to that point is a line of G-code. From that point to this point is another line of G-code. You see how many lines of G-code um, I'm getting? This is what this is what's gonna make your machine uh, run like crap, okay? It's gonna be jerky, it's not gonna be that smooth. Okay, so um, um, let me show you um, let me show you how to fix this issue, okay? It's really simple. Let me close this. Okay, and let me go to Design Workspace. Okay. And I'm gonna select the all ellipse the component. I'm gonna right click. And I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go up here where it says ellipse, test cut. I'm gonna right click and paste new. I'm gonna grab this arrow. I'll drag it all the way to the right. I'll just place it right there, okay? And I'm gonna check where it says capture position. I'm gonna click OK. And I'm gonna rename that um, that all lips, the, the one that we just pasted. And I'm gonna rename this um, new ellipse. Uh, Hit enter. Okay. So um, what I'm gonna do next is uh, create a sketch on this top face of the new ellipse. So I'm gonna go here under create menu. I'm gonna create a sketch. I'm gonna select this uh, top face, okay? And I'm gonna start tracing this ellipse using arcs, okay? So I'm gonna um, select a three-point arc, and I'm gonna select the midpoint. See that triangle? That's the midpoint. So I'm gonna go all the way down, and snap it right there, okay? And my second point is gonna be right there, and my third point is gonna be right there. You see I'm tracing the lips, okay? So that's one arc. So I'm gonna continue creating um, more arcs, okay? So I'm gonna select that point, and I'm gonna snap it right there, and right here, okay? Select that point, and I'm gonna hover my mouse right here. See, I'm getting that midpoint, see that triangle? And I'll go all the way to the left, I'm gonna snap it right there. 
and right there, okay? So I just um, I just created uh, three arts, okay? And I don't want to continue tracing all the way around. Um, um, it's gonna take a it's gonna take some some time to do that, right? I just want, I don't want to trace these all the way around, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mirror these three arts, okay? So I'm gonna select line, okay? Or I can hit L on my keyboard, okay? So I'm gonna select L um the line, okay? I'm gonna snap it right there to that midpoint. I'll drag it all the way to the right. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay. Now I'm going to mirror these three, uh, these four arcs. Okay. So I'm going to select mirror. I'm going to select that arc, this arc, and that arc. Okay. Uh, so I got three arcs selected. All right. What's my mirror line? It's going to be this line right here. Okay, click OK. Now I've got um, half of the lips. And I'm going to create another line. Select line. And I'm going to snap it right there to that midpoint. Okay, hit enter. Now I'm going to select a uh, mirror. I'm going to select all these, uh, these arcs. Supposed to be six, okay. If you have, um, if you have, if you're having trouble seeing the arcs, like or any any type of sketch, you can just turn off that component, okay. See that? So uh, my mirror line is going to be uh, this line right here, and there's the lips, okay. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to turn my component back on. And I'm going to finish sketch, okay? Now I'm going to go to Manufacturer uh, Workspace, and I'm going to start programming this uh, second ellipse, okay? This is the new ellipse. So let's go to Manufacturer Workspace. And I'm just going to copy. I'm just going to duplicate this setup right here. So I'm going to right-click, select Duplicate, or I can um, hit Control-D on my keyboard, okay? So I'm going to select Duplicate, and this is the second setup. And I'm going to rename this setup uh, New Ellipse, OK? Oops, forgot to hit Enter. Let's go back to it. So I'm going to type New Ellipse, hit Enter. I'm going to right click, Edit. I'm gonna click on the home icon, and my model is gonna be this model right here. So I'm gonna click on the X, and I'm gonna select this model right there. See, it's highlighted in blue. And my Z axis is gonna it's gonna be the same as the X as the first one. So, and I don't have to select uh, reselect the Z axis or the Y axis. And my WCS is gonna be right here for home Mac and Wiki CNC machines. If you have a new, uh, a different CNC machine, it's going to be somewhere else, all right? So it's, it's going to be, this WCS could be right here in the in the middle, on the top face, in the front, okay? So mine happens to be here, all right? Um, yeah, I'm going to skip to post-process, okay? And I'm going to name, I'm going to name this program New Ellipse, okay? And I'm gonna click OK. Now I'm gonna click on the arrow to drop it down. I'm gonna select that, that 2D contour, right click, edit. And under geometry, I'm gonna click on the X and I'm gonna select the, the arcs that we just the, that I just traced. Okay. Um I'm gonna turn off this component. All right, because sometimes I'm gonna you know sometimes you're gonna have problems uh, selecting sketches. Um, you're going to be selecting a component or, or like the face or, or, of a component by mistake, okay? So um, under models, I'm going to click on the arrow to drop it down. Click on the arrow right here on um, where it says ellipse, test cut. 
and I'm going to turn off that new ellipse component. Okay. Now it's going to be easier for me to select the uh, uh, this sketch right here. All right, the, that I just traced. So I'm going to select the sketch. Okay. I'm going to click OK. All right, and I'm going to right click and simulate. See how many lines with G code we get now? A lot less, okay, compared to the to the old ellipse uh, program. See that? Now your machine is going to run a lot smoother when uh, machining uh, ellipses, okay? Uh, so let's close this simulation, okay? I want to turn that component back on. All right. If you don't want to see the sketch, you go to sketches, click on the arrow, and turn off the sketch. Okay. So I'm going to start posting uh, both programs. Okay. I'm going to post the all ellipse program. Right click, post process. Okay. I'm going to post it. Oops, so let me select the Woodwap post processor so you can see it. Um, I was programming the other machine that we have in the shop, uh, which is a CMS. Okay, um, I'm going to post this. Okay, now I'm going to post the new ellipse program. Right click, post process. Okay, let's go to Woodwap 5.0. That's what I have. Um, I know. Some of you guys, or most of you guys, have the new versions like seven or eight. That's great. Okay. Um, I do a lot of two and a half D machining on work. Um, just cabinet parts and stuff like that. Um, doors, um, countertops, anything that has two and a half D machining. So, so I'm good with uh, Wuwa 5.0. All right. Um, let's open up um, the programs. Let me open up the all ellipse first. Look at that, it looks nice and smooth, right? Okay, it's not really that smooth. So let's go to contour definition programming. And look how many lines I get. I, I'm not getting arcs, I'm getting lines. So many tiny arcs, see that? Oh man, so many lines with G code. Okay, so, um, I'm going to scroll all the way down and select the last um, contour contour line. Okay. If you see right here on my screen, um, on my bottom left, um, so let me just select this. Oops. See, I'm getting uh, 272 contour lines. That's a lot. Okay. Okay. Um, this is what it's going to make your machine run like crap, okay? Um, let's open up the um, new ellipse program, okay? File, open, new ellipse, and let's select the uh, contour defi uh, definition programming. Look at that. I'm getting lines and arcs. See, now I'm getting arcs, okay? See that? See how big the arc is, okay? I get another line there. Okay. Um, I'm going to scroll the way down. Select the last arc. I'm getting 23. Look at that. 23 um, lines and arcs. Okay. Look at that. So I went from 270, uh, 72, 73, um, down to 23. Okay. That's great. That's how you fix. Um, that's how you. Um, that's how you fix this issue when uh, you're running an ellipse on your machine, okay? This is how you do it. Just trace, um, just trace the ellipse with arcs, and you're good to go, all right, guys? Um, so um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't, uh, you don't miss any future content. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.